Hey everyone, Beaver here, and it's time to show you how to create a Minecraft server here on Nodecraft. Let's go ahead and click on Create Server. Go to Minecraft. Now let's go ahead and choose whether it's Bedrock or Java. We're gonna go ahead and click on Java. New save. I'm not very creative, so let's go ahead and click the dice here, roll it. Now what we're gonna to wanna to choose is probably the location we're gonna go with. You can either choose auto detect or choose it. We're gonna go ahead and choose our own here. I like to auto deploy. This allows you to kind of choose your bot and kind of go right through it. For the server version, you can either stick with the most recent or click in here to change it to whatever version you may need based upon the mod. We're also gonna go ahead and select paper uh, for one of the mods we're gonna just kind of jam in here when we are installing it. This will allow us to kind of select some of the more popular plugins to kind of get things ready for our server. Click create server. And like I said, we clicked auto deploy, so we're gonna select the bot that we want to deploy to. And now it's gonna deploy. Once the instance has deployed, you'll be able to click on the panel here and dive on into your settings. Once here in your panel, you'll be able to get a quick look at your game settings which is kind of a great way to make a lot of good changes. Big thing is make sure that you do start up your server beforehand because a lot of these settings will not be able to be changed until then because you need to accept the user agreement. Once you do that, you can make those changes. You'll also see a bunch of server files get generated once that happens. Speaking of, here's our server file manager. You have the option to dual pane it so you can see kind of what you're doing in certain folders without having to go back and forth all the time. It's a pretty cool thing. Let's go ahead and jump back out and take a look at our server details because you're gonna need this in order for people to connect. You're gonna want that IP, you're gonna want that port, and if the game allows it, of course, the DNS makes it a lot easier. And there you go.